Fellas, public service announcement. Stop f***ing the shit out of girls that you don't really like. <laughs> let, me, let me elaborate. As you witness here on the stroke chart. She got a stroke got chart. Big Daddy Strokes. Uh-huh. Five-star quality. Daddy Strokes. Three-star. And we've got Little Daddy Strokes. Anything below this is going to be the friend zone. At this point, you're getting because the batteries in my dildo don't work anymore. So, for all of you guys that are handing out Big Daddy Strokes and wanting friend zone expectations, stop it. If you're going to friend zone my heart, go ahead and friend zone this coochie while you're at it. Stop me like you want to marry me because you're confusing me. Thank you. She has a point. She has a point. But at the same time, brothers, don't be out here friend zone stroking nobody. Okay? Put it down. Put it down. Because let me explain. Let me explain this to you. I'm explaining this to you. They be talking. You don't want through them white noise that you got the wax strokes. You have the friend zone strokes. Think about that. When have the friend zone ever been a good thing? I want you to think about that now. Okay? So the next time you in that, beat that down like you trying to get her to change your oil. Yeah, don't, don't, don't friend don't stroke nobody. Don't, don't listen to that. Don't listen to that. Because they be talking. Think about it this way. Anytime you hitting some kitty cat, bro, it's a job application into uh, some more kitty cat. You want to be the reference penis. You want, you want to hit that thing so good that she going to be out there referring your to other girls. She gonna be out there referring your to, to her friends. That's what you want. Just make sure you don't get her pregnant. That's the only thing you gotta make sure you don't do. You don't get her pregnant. Cause if you hit her with big daddy strokes, that's when you start having baby mama drama. That's when you start having baby mama drama. I didn't know you were here in Cali. Hmm. So I would have, you know, had to have flown out just for you. That's a man. Now, I'm gonna be real with you, Adam. If I would have had to fly out. That's a man. Just for you to do this interview? You would have, you would have had to. I would have to. Get yeah, I figured you were going to. You'd have to give me some. You'd have to, like, me come to the room afterwards. Mm -hmm. You got lucky as this because I was already here. Okay, now that we were, like, done the That's interview. That's a man. Do you want to go in my office with me for a little bit? Yeah. Oh. I want to. What are we going to do? You know what we're going to do, bitch. Let's go. He got the purse hiding his thing. No, you ain't here. He got the purse hiding his meat. I know why Adam did this. Adam did this because he know folks like me gonna be talking. That's the only reason he did this. But that's that. Yo, listen, listen to me, listen to me. Sydney Star ain't nothing to play with, bro. Sydney Star ain't nothing to play with. After what Sydney Star did to Chingy. Yeah, Sydney Star ain't nothing to play with. If y'all ain't know, this the mother that lied and said she had a relationship with Chingy. See, I'm finna get canceled. I'm finna get canceled. Listen, listen, listen. People of the the of the trans com community, don't come for me. I have no problem with you and what you choose to do with your personal life. But folks like Sydney Star gets no love and no respect for me because she lied and said that she had a relationship with a rapper, knowing good and goddamn well she didn't. Pretty much ended this man's career. Stop. Who is Nita? You need to put that down. Who is Nita? I don't want to be disrespectful on the, on the Lord's internet, but um, my brother, you know what? I ain't. Mm, she got them I can cook arms. The arms look like she can cook. That's that's as far as I'm gonna go with it, man. But that right there. I wouldn't be going for that right there. I know y'all be having problems with men that play video games, but let me tell you something. That's my stress reliever, okay? And I am grown grown. I pay 
bills. You feel me? I all oh, look at this mother. I pay for all of this. Out of here. I'll be damn if you break my damn PlayStation. Well, that was an Xbox, but I'll be damn if you break my PlayStation because you go through my phone and you. Who is Lena? Who is Lena? What? What do you consider to be licking ice cream off a cone? Like, as a boy, why is you licking ice cream off a cone? Like, just get a cup of some. What do you consider to be when guys do hip thrusts on like the booty building machines? Like, what a booty builder? Like, why are you on? as a guy? Why are you trying to build your butt? Like, why they you have a point. Like, why are you trying to build your yeah, cheeks, why brother? Are you, who are you building a butt for? That's the question. <laughs> what do you consider to be having a small? You a grown ass man, and you got we 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 we. What do you consider to be? When you're way too into your skincare more than I am, like you always gotta look fresh, like be bummy for real, please, please, like be dirty for a second. Hey, what do you consider to be? I feel like if a man shave his, you know, that's real weird. Like, why is he giving you know put action? You know, if you have a spam as a man, if you eat gogurts, it's just like that's such like a fem way to eat a thing. You know? Hey, what do you consider to be? We can't yeah, shave. Off a cone, like as a boy. Why Yo, hold on, hold on, cut. We we so it's a problem for a man to shave. I ain't gonna lie, I be shaving my thing. I be shaving. Sometimes, shit, sometimes you need to cut the grass. And then the girl that said, uh, she, like, why do you have a small penis? I think that's messed up, man. It's certain things that certain people can't change about themselves, because that's what they were born with. That's what nature gave them. You feel what I'm saying? So the fact that you out here body shaming, that's not cool, young lady. Body shaming is not cool. I'll be wrong if I was to call you because you look like an eraser. You shape like an eraser. Don't come, don't come for, for my brothers that got that small thing. You know what I'm saying? Don't come for them. Play the guitar with that thing, my boy. You could, you could do something. You could do some damage out there with that now. Don't sleep. Don't think I'm talking from experience. Don't sleep now. I'm of size. I'm of size. Don't sleep. But I'm gonna stand up for my f that's not of size. If today was your last day on earth, what's the wildest thing you're doing? Hmm. The wildest thing I'm doing? Damn, that's a hard question. Just answer the damn question. I'm a f like crazy. Huh? Yeah. I'm a f like crazy. Right. Say that. That's it. That's all you're doing. That's Say all? less. She Haitian too? Say up. less. So I'm over good. Hey, say less. I heard I heard through the great Vine that them Haitian girls got that. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. I heard they got that to die for. I ain't I don't know how true that is. I ain't never been with a Haitian chick before, but I heard the Haitian girls got that. That dang the dang dang dang. You feel me? Y'all tell me, bro. I know some of y'all got more experience than me. Let me know. But if it was my last day on earth, I don't know, bro. You know what? I do know. I'ma tell the truth. It's a lot of it's a lot of y'all I don't like. That I'ma leave it at that. I don't know if I should be saying this online. It sounds like threats. I'm not threatening nobody. I'm just saying it's a lot of us that we we need to have a serious conversation. Is this in New York? They look like in New York, bro. I'm seeing brownstones. Hey, yo, bro. Hey, yo, I'm 
keeping it 100. So I read the caption and apparently homie was playing his music kind of loud. And this was her reaction. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Because if this was in New York, I'm letting you know right now. I don't know. Maybe New York has changed, bro. Or maybe the right people wasn't on that bus. But that shit wouldn't have flied. That shit wouldn't have flied at all, bro. She was going to get off the bus. A scissor. If the video just showed her literally cussing this man out and saying, yo, why don't you turn the music down? Turn the fucking music down. I... I wouldn't have had a problem with that. I wouldn't have had a problem with that at all. But the fact that the first, your first initial instinct is to make an animal sound to a black man bothers me. It bothers me. Seriously, it bothers me.